Hello, I am the Dance Alive Dancer, and tonight I am going to tell you about a nightmare at the Freeburg Park concert. The police, three officers were called to Freeburg, Freeburg Park. Hello each and every one of you. I am the Dance Alive Dancer, and I'm about to tell you a story of the most frightening, terrifying outright attack that I've had at the Freeburg Park concerts in 16 years. Now, I've had attacks there before but nothing like last nothing like uh, today tonight Sunday night the uh, 16th Sunday the 16th um, the concert went fa fine uh, well actually didn't um, when I first got there I was sitting there Waiting to see if someone would show up. Uh, this guy in a truck, tractor, whatever it is, uh, comes by, calls me by my old name. <laughs> um, that's what starts it, actually. Although, I wasn't 100% sure, so I dropped that one. But I am almost certain that this guy, before I even got into the concert, sit there... And called me by my old name. So anyway. The rest of it didn't happen until after the concert was over. I mean the concert had already been done. I had already, you know. Start packing up my stuff. Go to the bathroom. Un undress. You know. Getting ready to leave. When this guy in a green shirt comes up. And I do know who this is. But um, I'm not going to mention who it is right now. Because kind of unbelievable to me but I'll believe anything nowadays so anyway three um anyway this guy starts questioning about me about the bathroom and then starts calling me stupid then threatens me telling me he wishes I was dead and uh, that kept going on he actually advanced towards me and it turned into a screaming match at that at that part. Me against this guy. With a green shirt on. He had a, a light green shirt on. Uh, yeah. I know who this is, but... Uh, it's beside the point. Um, anyway. He screamed at me. He said he wished... He hopes that I die tomorrow. And hopes that I'm dead. And wishes... I was dead and that I'm a stupid fag and all this kind of stuff. I mean, at this point in time, he's standing there, what, two feet away from me? Asking me how I go to the bathroom and why I go to, why I went to the bathroom and all this. Like, ah, uh, I don't know. I mean, I don't know. My mistake was even answering him. But anyway, one thing led to another, which led to my threats on my life, which I felt threatened at that point in time after he starts screaming at me that I'm stupid and I shouldn't be alive and yeah, I wish you were dead, yeah, I wish you were dead. At that point, when he mentions dead, when I called police, I called 911 three different times, actually three different times. And police show up. I'm going to show you what they are. This is one of the police, one of the three police cars that showed up right here. And I don't have video of the police or the incident at all. It happened too fast. That's one of the police cars that showed up. There was three of them. Um, that's the other one. Right there. Freeburg Police. This was the main one right there. And anyway, there was three of them that showed up. I actually called 911 three different times. And although I've had to call 911 there before, this is actually the second week in a row something's happened there. But I consider this way above average. I mean, I consider this worse than anything that's happened there in 16 years. The 16 years I've been going there, this happened in Freeburg. Of course, that's the center of all the activity. Which, uh, Freeburg Park, 
church concerts down there in the park on Sundays. And the whole concert went on fine until afterwards so I'm packing stuff up. And not only that, this guy is calling me, you know, different names. Not calling me the right name. Saying that I'm a stupid fuck, freaking... I'm a stupid freaking idiot. He used another word with an F on it, but... Um, then I he kept saying, I'm stupid, I'm stupid, I'm stupid, I'm stupid. I'm a fag, I'm a... Um, kept asking me about how, how how I go to the bathroom, why I went to the bathroom, or so where I went to the bathroom. And started screaming him five different times, at which point I was told that uh, he wishes I were dead. When he starts mentioning dead, that's when we get scary here. The whole thing was scary. Was all I was doing was wrapping up to put my stuff away. Threats me, threats against me, Gonna run me down the road and this and that and all this shit. Death, I want you dead. I wish you hadn't woke up today. That kind of stuff. We were yelling back and forth, actually, with this same thing. You know what I mean? He says he wants me dead. I say, ah, I'll be dead tomorrow or something like that. Um, it's the most massive apt response that's ever happened down in Freeburg Park. Since the church concerts began when they used to run them off the other side. I mean, I do think I know who this guy is. Um, do I understand why this happened? Uh, I don't, because I've never had anything this intense happen since I've ever been going there to the Freeburg Park concerts. Because it's church concerts. I mean, this was way above and out of the ordinary. I had to, when I got the police, when the police finally did show up there... I explained to him in a brief nutshell what happened. And they had to stand there. Two of them stood there. While I loaded up my stuff. It took about 15, 20, 25 minutes or so. They had to stand there. Two of them there. While I was taking my stuff and putting it away. And I said, well, I'm, I'm sorry this happened. To the police, I said, I'm sorry this happened. I mean, it seems to happen a lot around Freeburg, but... In the Freeburg Park, where the church concerts were, um, I have, I've had stuff happen there before, but never this intense. I mean, the guy with the green shirt, he was yelling at me, telling me he wished I was dead, telling me he's going to come after me, telling me he wished I was, I shouldn't wake up tomorrow, and starts advancing towards me, and I'm backing up, and calling me stupid fag and stupid idiot, stupid, stupid, he kept saying that over again, that I shouldn't be here, I shouldn't be alive, I shouldn't be exist, and all this kind of stuff. I mean, that's just making me mad, worse and madder and madder and madder. If you know what I mean. I didn't get any of this on video anyway. I don't do stuff on video like that anymore. I mean, you're just going to hear my story. I showed you the copy, the, the police car that showed up. There was three of them, actually. They came, three of them came rushing down there, because I called 911 three different times. Maybe even four. And it's the most intense incident that's ever happened in Freeburg Park. And that's since the church concerts have ever begun. This is the most intense, and I believe I know who it is. However, I really do not understand the meaning of it. Because I've been doing this 16 years and I've never had any of these people do this. I will be certainly on the lookout and I will be wearing body cameras and all kinds of stuff every time I go there now. Because of this response, I will be filming every second that I go there now. So everything will be on camera next time. So, um... In fact, I'm going to be on the lookout from now on. So, you can be ecstatic, brother. Because I'm going to be expecting now. Because this is the second week in a row something's happened down there. And I don't understand this one at all. I do know that Freeburg is the center of all the activity that ever goes bad. But this? Threaten on my life? Oh, yeah. I almost forgot something. Listen to this one. Uh, whoever this guy is, and I know who he is, 
Um, he put frogs in my in my van. Now I like an idiot. I left my car open over there. That's that's never gonna happen again. I'm gonna turn my alarm on and leave it on now. But there were frogs on my dashboard in my car that I, I've noticed after I left. This stupid idiot, stupid idiot puts frogs in my freaking car. Frogs. I stopped and had to take them out. I mean, he opened the door up and stuck frogs in my car. I mean, for real? Or am I in somebody's nightmare here someplace? This is what Jesus on a church contra does for you? Really? You know what? Oh, why I don't believe in Jesus anymore. That's why. But that has nothing to do with Jesus. Jesus doesn't have nothing to do with this. It was a church concert, but this one, who, this guy wasn't a part of the church. I'll tell you that right now. This guy was a part of something else. Which, for safety's sake and name's sake, I'm not going to mention who it is. Because I already do know who it is. Although I don't understand this part of it because, oh, why it didn't happen many years before now. I don't know, but I feel angry because this is not the way to do it. This is not the way to treat somebody that's... I mean, I do not understand this. He tells me that he wishes I was dead. You want to know something? Half the times I wished I was too. But you want to know something? I don't no more understand this fucked up world than the man in the moon sitting sideways. All I know is I called emergency 911. And we had to call it three or four different times. Freeburg Park, the big park, not the little one, the one with the gazebos or whatever the hell you call them things, where the Sunday church concerts are. I have never had anything this intense happen since I've been doing this for 16 years. I have had incidents happen there before, but nothing in this, this scale. This, I don't even understand what the hell it's about. Other than the fact that after I came back out of the bathroom, he starts attacking me. The concert had already been done by that time. I was getting ready to leave, getting ready to pack my stuff up. With after this guy standing there, calling me names and calling me the wrong name and everything else. Um, I, I stopped. Called 911, called the police. There were three of them that rushed over there. It was like a scene out of Law and Order. And I'm getting tired of all this drama, 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 drama. All this nightmare. Out, out of what? Somebody tell me what that's about. I mean, what the hell? I don't get it. I mean, after 17 years, I don't get it. I mean, surely this isn't Jesus telling me this, right? No, I know better than that. I highly don't think that this guy has anything to do with Jesus, but... Who knows? I don't know. Anything's possible. Um, anyway, getting back to my car. After I left, someone stuck frogs. Frogs in my dash on my dashboard. Like, for real. I mean, what are you, five years old or something? I mean, good Lord Jesus Christ. I mean... <clears throat> I would expect a five-year-old to maybe do that, but not somebody grown up and supposed to know what the hell they're doing. I mean, what the hell is with that? I mean, that teaches me a lesson to lock my freaking car up from now on, put put the alarms and the cameras on it, because I'm going to be having cameras from now on everywhere I go out there now. Body cameras, just like the police do. That tip taught me a lesson. But anyway, I'm going to wrap this up with saying... I don't understand the world and the society or any of it, or why any of this had to happen. I only know it's the most intense one that's happened in 16 years. I mean, I've been attacked before, I've been threatened before, I've been... Minor stuff. Nothing to this scale has ever been done. And I still don't understand it, and I never will understand it, but that's all I really got to say. Other than... It was happened at Freeburg Park tonight, the 16th, at the uh, Freeburg Church Concerts. Usually, those are okay. Never had nothing this intense happen there ever before. I've had stuff happen, but never this intense. Anyway, that's all I've got to say. Thank you for joining me.